So you would think after, I want to get this right, 28,786 rides, I would know every trick in the book, right? But just two weekends ago, I discovered the biggest trick in the book. <laughs> it's not even a trick. Uh, so five out of the last seven years, I've been driving for Uber and Lyft. Four of those years were full time. And I implemented this one strategy and I dramatically increased my earnings over the weekend. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what that is. I'm gonna share with you five or six components of the strategy, things you need to take into account, and, uh, and then stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what the bottom line was, right? We're in this to make money. I'm gonna show you exactly how this impacted the bottom line. So stick around, I'll be right with you. Uh, all that and a lot more coming up. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Mm. Drinking some Joe. Drinking some Joe this morning. So for seven years, I've told myself and I tell my passengers, I don't drive late night, right? I don't want anyone puking in my car. And, and I'm now realizing uh, this is called Old Dog New Tricks. <laughs> that I was a little premature, uh, which is a word guys don't like to hear at all, uh, premature in my condemnation of late night driving. Last weekend, I drove Saturday night from 1 a.m. until 8 a.m. And uh, I'm gonna share with you some of the components uh, that go into driving late at night, and then we'll get to the bottom line. So number one, first issue is puking. I just, the idea of somebody vomiting in my car uh, stopped me from driving late night. So I got some uh, barf bags, which you can see right there, really easy to, to get, uh, not too expensive. Uh, and I just had a few in my glove box. So I was ready. I think the thing with really drunk passengers is you can kind of see if they're too drunk um, as they're walking towards your car. And while I didn't drive away from anybody this last weekend, I have in the past, if I saw somebody really wobbly, um, I would not pick them up. But if you get somebody who, who is really, really drunk, you've got the barf bag handy, uh, roll down the window to get some fresh air, um, play the music a little bit loud, and uh, you know just kind of keep them engaged, right? Um, most of the times when I see people vomiting, they've, they've kind of closed their eyes and they're kind of you know like that. So if you keep them you know, awake, get some air blowing on them, get a little bit of music, have the barf bag ready, um, really, really not a, a huge issue, not a huge issue. The second issue I've had was, I'm just gonna be too tired to drive, right? Too tired to drive. So my strategy um, last weekend was to sleep from 6 p.m. until midnight, 6 p.m. to midnight. Then I got up, I took a shower, uh, made some coffee, and then I got this secret weapon, which I recently discovered, which I'm drinking in the mornings. Um, and you'll see it right there, it's called Ketone. IQ. Now, if you don't know what a ketone is, you can Google it, K-E-T-O-N-E, -E, ketone. But if you go on a keto diet, it's something your body produces uh, to, to, to give you energy um, when you're on a keto, uh, keto diet. But you can drink um, what are called exogenous ketones. And that's what this is. I heard about it on this podcast, uh, the Huberman Lab, which if you are interested in your health and longevity, this is a fantastic, really, I've turned a lot of passengers on to this. Um, but it's one of his sponsors, and he only allows sponsors that he uses and fu fully believes in. So I spent $120 for three of those bottles. Uh, each bottle seems to last about two to three weeks, and you just drink a little capful of it. And boy, it really kind of elevates you. And uh, it's a clean energy, it's not shaky. Um, so I, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a, a clean energy source. Uh, you don't have to be on a keto diet for it to work. But anyway, so I took a nap. Uh, I got up. I took a shower. I brought some coffee with me. I, I took a little shot of that, and I was good. Um, certainly by 8 o'clock in the morning, I was tired. I came home. Uh, I actually stayed up most of the day. Uh, I took a little bit of a nap, and then the next night I got a good solid eight hours. Number three. So one of the big perks about driving late at night is the music. Uh, these folks aren't interested in jazz music, okay, which I normally play in the morning. 
they are cool with the Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin and, uh, and they want it loud. I had one passenger, I was playing a Rolling Stone song and he said, can you turn it up? So it was at level seven. That's the, that's the level I usually have for passengers. So I turned it up to 10 and I thought it was pretty loud. And he goes, no, really crank it up. So I turned it up. Uh, Van Morrison's Moon Dance came in and uh, he and I were just, you know, rocking out to level 20, which in my car is pretty great, you know, good speakers. And we're listening to Moon Dance uh, all the way till I dropped him off. So, uh, so that's a benefit of the late night is you can play music, which, which is much more energetic than uh, quiet jazz or cl calming classical. Number four, another huge benefit of late night is there's little traffic. There's no traffic. Uh, it's nighttime rules, right? You can kind of, you know, you'll come to a stoplight and, and, and there's no one you can see. I just go, right? There's no way I'm going to get a ticket and there's no cars anywhere that I can see. I'm gone. And those are what I call nighttime rules. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty great. You, you can focus more on the passenger. You just don't have to deal with traffic. And that's a beautiful thing about the late night uh, shift. Number five, better bonuses. Uh, there aren't as many people that are willing to go out late at night and there is a demand uh, late at night. So both Uber and Lyft offer pretty significant bonuses uh, if you drive, you know, in those those early, early morning or late night hours. So uh, I found that to be uh, a major reason why I could earn so much more is the bonuses that are offered. Number six, better tips. So people, when they're drinking and they're buzzed, um, I think there's a couple of things. One is they just feel more generous. Two, that you're going to have a much more interesting conversation because they're freer with what they want to say. They'll say more intimate things more self-disclosing things when they're drinking and they feel closer to you. So they're more likely to give you a, a, a better tip. So that's another benefit uh, of the late night. And number seven, number seven is overall much, much more money. You're going to make a, a significantly more money driving late night than you are during the day for all the reasons that I just laid out. But let's look at the actual results from the weekend. I, and I, I worked on Thursday uh, this weekend, and I made a total of $1,007, $1,007 for 27 hours actually online. And that comes out to uh, $37 per hour. My, my average has been $30 per hour. So this is an over 20% increase on my weekend haul simply by working that one late night. Uh, I did Saturday night. I, I could probably do this two nights of the weekend and do Friday night as well. Um, although I'm just, I'm pretty content with just doing the Saturday night as of right now. So that's a significant amount of money. So all that puts together tells me, you know, I've been missing the boat for seven years. You know, I should have been doing more late night driving, more Saturday night driving for sure. And who knows how much more money I would have made over all those years, if you added it, added it all up. So uh, I'm, now a, I'm now a convert, uh, and I believe in, in late night driving. So what are the key takeaways? Uh, if, you, if you're comfortable doing late night driving, I say go, go for it, give it a shot. Uh, if you're a little bit scared, um, you know, just prepare and go give it a shot. It can be quite liberating. If you're really, really scared, just don't do it, right? Just don't do it. Um, if the prospect of having some intoxicated people in your car uh, scares you, don't do it. But if you want more money, better music, less traffic, better bonuses, um, crank in the Led Zeppelin and everyone's cool with it, then give the late night a shot and, and you'll make more money. So that's, uh, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and uh, we'll keep bringing you great content, all right? You go out and have a great day. Go have a great late night. Uh, go tell someone you love them. It'll make their day, and be safe out there. Bye for now.